Lindy Boggs Medical Center opened in the 1920s. The hospital provided many services, including emergency care, critical care, and organ transplantation services. During Hurricane Katrina, the hospital staff and patients were trapped inside the hospital for five days with limited amount of supplies, food, and water. As the days passed, a total of 45 people have lost their lives while inside Lindy Boggs. Lindy Boggs took a big hit by Katrina, causing the buildings millions of dollars of damage. It was later sold to another company for $4.2 million. There are no plans to renovate the property. None has gone through. So we're currently roaming the hallways of this hospital. There's no way we're going to be able to cover the entire thing due to how big it is. And we need to watch out for the black mold because I'm seeing some in the room on the walls. Homeless people and all that we need to keep an eye out for because you just never know in a place like this. This place is huge. There's a shopping cart in the middle of the hallway. Yeah. Hmm? I'm gonna go down here up but not too far. I'll try to I'll try to stay close by. So there's that shopping cart. All up on the wall. The graffiti. Nothing interesting, just a lot of scribble names and stuff just Scribbled on the walls and the glass. The whole bunch of glass on the ground. Seeing this everywhere we go at abandoned places. So this whole entire wing is nothing just but a, a bunch of rooms. It's empty, gutted out. Anything you can name. It's all been done here. So we gotta find something that's interesting. Look into the moldy room. This is why you want to be prepared when you come in places like this. Yeah, there's people that live here, dude. Look. I've got a message on the door that says, I need more. You need me by the roof room on fourth floor roof. I'm going to wait now. I. Where are you? It's after 7 p.m. to the basement now. Love Either that. somebody wrote that or someone is looking for somebody. So far, this is the only thing we found that's interesting in, in this wing. Maybe that's where they put their x rays or something. Sounds like somebody's listening to football right across the street. Chill out with August weekly treats. Outpatient visit records. Snowballs in the basement atrium from 1.30 p.m. every Thursday in August. <laughs> that is crazy. Yeah. This is the second time I've seen glass like this in a hospital. Pretty crazy how this is actually still here. Graffiti and all that. Normally this stuff is usually destroyed with the rest of the building, but still here.
So apparently this whole entire section that we're in was once a gym area. That explains the mirrors on the wall so they can look at themselves, look out the windows, see people. And I'm seeing signs. Please do not drop weights on the floor. Thank you. Stinks. What the heck? <laughs> Why is it brown? I think it might have been soap. Yeah. Antimicrobial lotion soap. Looks like a roach. It looks pretty gross. disgusting. I would not want to wash myself with that. No. I don't need to bring soap in here. You just come in here, you take a little shower or whatever. I think those were the lights that. right there. Yeah. So we found the roof. There's an active building next door. We're not gonna take our chances, so let's go back down and see if we can find anything else down there. So I think this place is haunted again, like all haunt, all abandoned places are. Nah, I'm just kidding. I did that. <laughs> <laughs> Look what we found, two TVs. Both are completely smashed. Whatever they use these for. If you're a doctor or you work at a hospital, let me know what they use these monitors for. So this whole entire section is the labs. What they did, whatever they did in the laboratory. All okay, this yeah, down here, look. Before. Oh, look at all the little. I guess that's what goes in it. Mm hmm. Look. So crazy. So apparently, this is an organ transplant. Wait, what? Organ transplantation box. Oh, so that's what, what she have. said is what it was. That's crazy. <laughs> the vials for when they pull your blood. That is freaking crazy. And the tray that they kept it in. So here are a couple and of four. test tubes. Mm hmm. That are all. Shattered. Ready? Walking down this dark hallway, still coat hangers. Pretty much when Katrina was here, so. 16 year old coat hangers. Crazy. I found a way to the basement. Where is that at? Right here. That's where the morgue is? Mm hmm. Yeah. First time seeing a morgue, let's go. We're like the fifth crew to be in here. Wow. So this is what was all underwater, right? Yeah. So the floor that we standed on was once flooded by Katrina. Until this year, they had water standing yep. in here. Yeah, water right here. Line. So you can see the water line. It's pretty much about six feet. Right there. That's crazy. And this is the basement, not the sub-basement, because there is another basement under this. And that's not water in it, right? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Anybody looking for Batman? Because I think I just found Batman. <laughs> Stuff you have to do to get to rooms. Interesting. Things that you get to get to view, huh? Most likely. Look at the damn desk. So right in front of us apparently is a body board where they have the bodies on, like usual. So we're in like the basement, but not the basement basement. No, you're in the basement, but not in the sub-basement. Okay, so we're in a basement that's below a basement. And there's still water inside this drawer from Katrina. What? I don't think that's gonna happen. Betty the Queen? What the hell was that? I heard that too. What'd you hear? A uh, creature. Oh. Something hissing. Really? Well, let's migrate this way. Yeah, okay. Yeah, so apparently hissing. there's something hissing in here, so let's get out of here well, before. Well, we know there's crab, and on the other side by the emergency department, there's turtles and gators. Oh, interesting. Because that's where it's still flooded bad. Right. This way down. No, we can't that way. No, this way down. Turtles. I don't know about gators. Oh, shit, hanging. This is why you have a tour guide to bring you places that we don't know where we're going. Yeah. Shout out your channel again. What's your channel's name? Okay. Go check them out. I'll put a link in the description below. Yeah, don't forget to live below. So we're at the morgue. 
Go in there and look at that. This? Those, th those three machines are where they kept the bodies cool until they were ready for processing. You can go in and look at the front. They're open on the front. This is one slippery floor. Oh, is that anything? Wait till you get to where the Can you imagine the being down here when you were actually working? Before this was all completely filled oh, with no. trash. This is where they put the bodies for processing. So this is where they put the people. I don't know what to call this boxes. again. Cooling box. Cooling boxes. Mm -hmm. I'm horrible at doing stuff like this. <laughs> so the three cooling boxes you see is where they put the humans at one point. Before the morgue. Before they were being processed. Before they were being processed like she said. But it's crazy to see. Three of these. That's a brand new tape. So there's embalming fluid down at the bottom. Can not imagine That's wild. what that would just, what that would be. That's just wild. So what you're looking at is a human. Something. Something, yeah. What? <laughs> what is that? Embalming. Oh, this? Yeah, that's the. That's embalming the embalming fluid. fluid. So that's there's like the embalming fluid, and there's a whole bunch of water gals. inside this bags, whatever the heck is in there. Those are. Like, Don't want to know. You. That's you can the say. Stuff that you into the body once you pull the organs out to fill it. Oh, lovely. Crazy. There's a DVD or a VHS player. Yeah, it looks I like mean, it. tape. It's all, it's, it's uh, unopened. Brand new. What? I'm sorry, I don't know so much about this. No, I'm glad. You're you actually a good help, to be honest, because I know nothing about abandoned, honestly. Like, besides, it's just being abandoned. So look at all these sheets, body sheets. Still here. After Katrina. Out of all the places I have explored, this is pretty much crazy. Time to go dark. I went that big ass thing over there and turned it off. Go dark and see how creepy it is. Ain't no way I could go in the Yeah, I agree with you. I was this is horrible. yesterday with dying batteries at 6.30. In the morning? No, no. Night? Oh, yeah. yeah. And kept getting turned around. Crazy. So I decided to pull a balls and move and jump out on the anvil through the fence. So before walking into the morgue, somebody apparently drove a pentagram. Scary enough as it is. Next to where they go. Now we welcome to the scary part of the hospital. The morgue. First time. No, I'm talking about the bitches right there. This is definitely thumbnail material right here. And look, this was the mortician's office and the only thing left of the mortician's office is the door. How did just the door stay intact? That's my question. <laughs> That's weird. We're just taking photos, by the way. Just explorers. Uh, you good? Yeah, we're good. Cool. Good. <laughs> yeah, I heard somebody coming. I was like, uh. Okay. Cool, cool. You're fine. Hey.
Oh, I'll just see him. All right. It looks like a worker. A worker? Mm -hmm. Well, we found the elevators. Pretty much just sitting here. People throwing trash and all that stuff are here. Maybe not the initial one. I feel like it bounced a little bit and head down all the way to the bottom. This is what we came here to see. The chapel. Wow. Look how blue it is. He did a lot of pain in here. So to think at one time, people were here in the chapel doing all this stuff that they do in a chapel right here. Now it's destroyed. Vandalism, graffiti, all that stuff is now all out through the entire chapel. So the graffiti that you see in the chapel, some of it's actually pretty good. Someone obviously messed up the eyes and put it upside down cross, sadly. That's really good artwork. The bee over there, the balloons, the name, the alien, everything that you see. Where is that? How'd you get up there? Huh? How'd you get up there? Oh. Oh, you just. I was, I was. Yeah, I was looking around like, where's everything at? <laughs> Crazy. That's why I was trying to find you, people. And I finally found you. Everybody. <laughs> Don't push me, by the way. <laughs> hey, I told you, we have help. I won't deny that I wasn't thinking about it. I'm just kidding. I am going to be way late. Really... What is this? A name? Board name? I'm guessing, like, what nurses go are assigned to what rooms, maybe? Yeah, because see private, 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 so... Five. Crazy. Fifteen years ago. James Thomas. Two thousand five. That's the last time this place was actually active. Yeah. August twenty fifth. Thanksgiving that was coming up. I'm sorry, I'm shining a light in here. Get ready, get ready, get ready. I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming. Hmm. 
That's crazy. That's almost it's the name of the sixteen years to the day. Wow. Yep. Yeah. Wow. Awesome. November uh Today's the twentieth? Twenty first. Nineteenth. That was yesterday. Sixteen Wait, years ago on? yesterday. No, nineteenth. Today's the twenty first. Today's the twenty first. Oh, wow. All right. Well we're close. A couple of days. <laughs> but fifteen years later. That's wild. So here's some really cool lockers that probably either the patients or the workers had their belongings placed inside here. Yeah, because Very old. It's a long way down. I don't know if I'd want to fall down there. Okay, look at this door. It's bent outwards. Why is the door bent like that? Somebody left us a piece of box here. Nope. These trees were not here when the building was. They've overgrown. Pretty creepy hallway. I hear a phone that's going off the hook somewhere. The R&K all day. Just goes to you R&K all day. Respect to you. Yeah, black mold everywhere. Interesting room. Some type of magazine. It's got menus. Oh. What is it? Hey, timesheets are now located in the binder that also. A memo book. I guess they didn't turn into schedules. <laughs> this well, is a couple of days before did. Katrina. That's so scary. That's pretty cool. What's your name? Jeez, look everywhere. DJ, you did that? You hit that? Yeah. Okay. It's haunted. This place is haunted. <laughs> no, it really is. I have EVP. I've talked to dead people here. Oh. I actually make a joke of that because I was thinking, I do that stuff for, uh, for my videos. Another broken TV. Broken windows.
pretty crazy. How is it still here? Hope you enjoyed what you saw. I'd like to thank Nola Deej and Live a Little Explorations for joining us on this exploration. This was a really, really cool place to check out. Really nasty, really dirty. Yeah. Very, very old. Anyways, hope you enjoyed the video. I'll see you at the next spot.